as we move on into tomorrow and Thursday, we've got another disturbance developing that taps in to this huge contrast in air mass from all that record heat that Bridget was highlighting and some of the cooler and drier air back to the west. Out ahead of the storm system, you've got that hot and humid air pushing to the north, all the way up to the Canadian border, effectively. That's the storm system that develops late tomorrow and then especially into Thursday. That's looking like a significant day of severe weather. We talk about these black lines, isobars, when there's more of them and they're more tightly packed. That's an indication of a storm system getting stronger. This one develops east of the Rockies and then moves along the jet stream farther off to the north toward the Canadian border and brings that severe weather threat with it. Lots of potential storm energy. We talked about where that comes from, the way above average heat, 10 to as much as 30 degrees above average, and all that humidity with the south wind. Cold front slices into that, same with that area of low pressure, intensifying and generating the likelihood of severe storms. Eastern parts of the Dakotas, eastern parts of Nebraska, western Iowa up into Minnesota and western Wisconsin. That's where we're watching those threats, but also farther off to the south. Some of the same areas, this is Wednesday, late afternoon and evening. You see that large hail threat as well as uh, the damaging wind threat down across eastern parts of New Mexico and west Texas once again. But that's just for tomorrow. Watch the coverage. That's one thing, but also the intensity of the storms. Thursday is looking like a day to watch very closely for the most intense and widespread of the severe weather that we're expecting through the rest of this week. This hatched area in some of those same areas that I was highlighting, eastern parts of the Dakotas and Nebraska, western parts of Iowa and Minnesota, that's where we see the greatest likelihood of significant severe weather. And we're talking about all modes of that, the possibility of strong tornadoes generated by this storm system, but also large hail once again and damaging straight line wind gusts. Here's the first batch. This is the severe weather threat for Wednesday, late afternoon and evening. You're looking at 8 p.m. Central Time. That's moving across Minnesota into Wisconsin. That's closer to that warm front, the initial batch of storms. Now we're into Thursday. There's that much greater coverage of storms, and these will be powerful ones. This is 9 p.m. Central Time. You can see a well-formed line of storms moving across the northern plains, eventually into the upper Midwest. We're going to have to watch that severe weather threat on Thursday, Bridget, very closely over the next couple days. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.